All right, well, let's... We'll just, I guess that's an Akihigo chapter, not a Labra chapter. And then... We'll see what's up with Yukari. We'll see how much that is. That's a five... A five banger! But we'll go ahead and jump into here and see what's uh, going on with the odd couple. And then eventually we'll head back down here because everything I think is going to, yeah, converge onto Labrys. And then we will pretty much, we're about close, I think, to the to the end of this, right? Oh, okay, no, we're not. We're, there's still a bunch more. I was like, 41%, that seems like... That doesn't seem like we're close at all, but hell, let's go in here and continue on. With Teddy as a guide, we climbed the hill leading to the tower. That sentence ended, and I was like, uh. I'm trying to see where time wise we are at. I see what appear to be the front gates of a school, and there's a sign on the wall reading Yasogami High School. The building ahead of us looks like an ordinary school at first glance, but when I look up, there are a number of things wrong with it. Ah, is this really Sensei's school? It looks even weirder than it did before. Yikes, this is really bad. I haven't seen anything like this since three years ago. Even from up close, it's strikingly similar to Tartarus. A nest of death, where shadows roam free. And a tower of darkness, built to summon death itself. But that's not all. Strange markings line the ground and walls, all the way from the gates to the school building itself. Posters have been put up on the walls, and even in the windows. Oddly matching the eeriness of the building. There's a bunch of posters up. It kind of reminds me of a school festival. The Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel? That's Sensei! Sensei is so strong, kind, and a reliable leader. And over here is Chie chan She trains a ton every day, and she eats a ton too. Teddy points out the different posters, one after another, and happily tells me about his friends. Seeing him like this, I get a sense of how much he values his friendship with these people. Haha, <laughs> they must be a great bunch of people. Huh? There's a poster of Mitsuru Senpai too? The, the Imperious Queen of Executions. What's wrong, Yuka-chan? What about Mitchan? Oh, it's nothing. I just remembered something that happened during our school trip. Uh-oh. Hot spring incident. Oh, an execution, huh? I know what that's like. Huh? Have you done that to someone before? Nah, it was done to me. And I see Hammer to repay me for my innocent curiosity. Just remembering it gives me the chilly willies. Oh, I can imagine that. Talking to you reminds me of someone I know. There's an idiot in our group, too. Oh, lucky me. I found Yucatan. Junpei? I'm surprised to see the next face. Wait a sec. I have to consider what happened with that copy of Mitsuru Senpai from earlier. He's wearing a baseball uniform for some reason. Could this be another fake? I put some distance between us and knock an arrow. Hold it right there! I told Junpei to wait for me at the station. What are you doing here? Uh, hey, wait a second! That's no way to greet your old friend! You're supposed to get emotional! Oh, wait... You another monster, Yukari? Hmm? A monster? Me? Wait, so are you the real Junpei? Ugh, he reeks of sweat. Seriously, can't you have some consideration for the people who have to smell you? He's real. Huh? Whoa, aren't you the guy who was on TV earlier? Why are you with Yucatan? Why? Because I'm Yukachan's knight in fuzzy armor, obviously. In other words, we share a pledge of eternal love. <laughs> Eternal love? Yukacha, do you know this weirdo with a beardo? Whoever he is, I don't <laughs> think he's a fake. Weirdo with a beardo. Yeah, I know him. You seem energetic as always, Junpei. Oh, is that what's going on here? Wait, don't be ridiculous. I'm obviously the real me. <sighs> I can kind of tell too. Considering how much he's trying to get on my good side, this is probably the real Junpei. You're safe and sorry. I told you to wait at the station, but then I heard that Mitsudu senpai and the others are in danger. Nah, it's cool. I was kind of wandering around too, but wait, they've been captured? Seriously? Yeah, about that. 
I'm a little relieved to be able to meet up with a familiar face. We trade some nostalgic banter while we share what we've learned about what's happening in Nineveh. I had my doubts when I heard how heard of how Junpei miraculously ended up in Inaba, even before the rest of us, but I guess that's just like him. He barely has a grasp of the situation, and he keeps going on about how cute some girl he met at Juness is. Ugh, I don't want to hear about that stuff. At least I learned that the Persona users of this town are acting on their own during this unusual phenomenon. What? Junpei, you ran into Risei-chan and Yuki-chan? Were they alright? Yep, totally fine. Man, school chicks these days are really tough. By the way, uh, who are you anyway? Aren't you that, what was it, General Teddy? How dare you! It's outrageous that you treat me the same as that faker! I'm the one, the only, the adorable Teddy! Mmm, well, yeah. I don't tend to push too many questions on the poor guy, but Teddy's existence is something of a mystery. What I do know is that he's he's an Inaba Persona user, and he's not an enemy. The General Teddy from the broadcast appears to be a copy of Teddy here. Teddy's a Persona user from this town, and he's looking for his friends. Huh? You could use a Persona? I figured you were nothing but a walking costume. Grr, how rude! I'm not just an empty suit. I have a Persona, and I have something inside, too! Look! It... Inside? Teddy suddenly undoes his undoes his zipper. Huh? That's removable? Hello everyone! Whoa, a white guy. <laughs> yes, Junpei, a white guy. <laughs> what the What's going on here? The sudden appearance of this young kid inside the suit is startling. Actually, even before that. hard to grow this body because I wanted to score with a girl. Nice to meet you, Junpei. Oh, uh, your Japanese is a little off, though. Yes, his Japanese is a little off. You make a costume, not grow it. Do you understand? Make, not grow. Stop talking like an idiot, Junpei. But wow, I figured you were empty, too. Hmm? I'm sorry, did I surprise you, Yuka-chan? Oh, this is starting to break my brain. I'm sorry to ask you this once you took it off, but can you just keep your costume on for now? Aw, oh, but I just came out. Ooh, but this must mean that you like my bear skin better. Ta-da! Look, look, it's original flavor Teddy again. So don't hold back. Ladies and other ladies, start your snugglings! Come on, guys, enough playing around. Let's go. We have to hurry and find the others. Huh? Oh, right. Go, go, go! Just when we're about to go inside, Teddy, ugh, Teddy suddenly stops and stands up straight. Could his keen nose really work when he's wearing that costume? Oh, wait. If anything, that costume is his real, his real nose, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not even going to question his sneezing anymore, either. Is this someone he mentions related to Mitsuru Senpai? Or Akihiko Senpai? Or the others? Teddy runs off, still sneezing. We take a side path to make a detour around the school building and see a gymnasium, bleh, bleh, gymnasium up ahead. The entrance door is covered by a poster of a boy labeled the Beefcake Emperor. That name, it's Kanji Tatsumi, isn't it? Oh, this is Kanji. He loves manly battles and is really good at grabbing people and stabbing things. <laughs> what? Uh, this poster is giving me bad vibes. I don't want to charge in without a plan and run into this guy. Let's look for another way in, maybe. Don't be stupid. Someone's here, right? Come on, we're going in. I make Junpei open the door, despite his protesting. The central area inside the gym is open, though chairs are stacked high up all around, reaching almost to the ceiling. A blonde, well-built young man is standing in the open space, clearly waiting for us. There's no mistaking him. This is Kanji Tatsumi, whose face is on the poster we just saw. Finally, you showed up! Hello, boys! I've been waiting forever and ever for you. 
especially you, Slugger. Um, just to be clear, you don't know this guy, right? No! He's got no business calling me out like a designated hitter. <laughs> hey, hey, Teddy, that's your friend, right? Why don't you sniff him and see if he's one of those fakes? I don't have to! That's definitely a fake! If Kanji really liked you, he'd be stuttering and baking you treats instead of talking like that! Oh, I've got a treat for you. It's in my fists! I can't wait to show it to you. Bring on the ring! Kanji-kun hollers loudly and a four pillars ascend surrounding us. Well, I knew this was coming. This is obviously a fake. In order to find that someone Teddy was talking about, we'll have to fight our way past this. All right, you guys go in there and fight him. I'll uh, cheer you on from over here. Don't be a wuss. You're fighting too. Let's deal with this quickly. You're not going to beat me down that easily. Here we go, Teddy. It's weird I can use Teddy. <laughs> Let's go with Yukari since she's the first option. And then let's fight Shadow Kanji. My birthday, bro, Kanji. Finally. Fight. Here's the opponent with you. Oh, I'm not about that. Persona. Oh, 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 yeah, this is it. Oh, no. Hey, oh, hey. Oh, oh, let loose. Let loose. Get position. Clear oh, shot. No. Uh. Hey, oh, hey, so 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 So, just to be clear, I didn't even want to go in here, all right? So this is all on you guys. As Junbei stumbles through whatever he's trying to say, the fake kanji crumbles and loses its shape. The sparkles of light that it spits out float up through the high ceiling and disappear from view. Huh? I'm sensing that someone through there! Junpei, hurry and open this! Teddy points to a door on the other side of the room, and Junpei quickly rushes over to open it. Huh? Junpei and Teddy might actually make a good team. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> when Junpei throws open the door, a wall of thick red fog pours out, clouding my vision. I hear Junpei coughing from within the fog, but I can't see him. Teddy and I stick to the wall until the fog dissipates somewhat, then we take a peek inside the door. This is escapade. A white spotlight shines across the dark open space. The edge of the light illuminates a raid stage. It looks exactly like the dance floor of the club near Gekko Khan High. Could this really be escapade? Fuka. I can't help but call out in shock. A large cross is raised on the center of the stage, and Fuka is hanging from it, just like on that broadcast. Seriously? Whoa. Fujian, I'll save you. I'm a coming. Teddy runs to the cross with a surprising turn of speed for somebody with such stubby little legs. We all work together to get Fuka down from the cross, but even though she doesn't appear to be physically injured, she hasn't regained consciousness yet. Still, she's breathing normally and her pulse is steady. Thank goodness. It seems like she's not in any danger of dying. Fujian. Are you okay? Wake up! I'd better give you the bareth of life! Oh lord. Feather drop kick! Ah! Yuka-chan, I was just joking! This isn't the time for jokes! Fuka, can you hear me? We've come to rescue you! Ah, uh, are you coming too? Yukari-chan and Junpei-kun, did you rescue me? Sorry we're late, but you're gonna be okay now. Hey, Fuka, 
It's been a while, huh? And now that we're here, there's nothing to worry about. Who would do such a thing to Fuchan? I'll never forgive them! Thank you too, Teddy. But have you seen Mitsuru-senpai? And... She's really exhausted. You shouldn't try to move for a while. It doesn't look like the others are around here. We have to rescue them. I couldn't do anything. According to Fuka, they were captured immediately after they were attacked. Even with Fuka's search ability, she wasn't able to sense anything until right before it happened. Alright, well, let's let Fuka rest here while we go on. We just have to rescue Akihiko-san and Mitsuru-senpai, right? We can't leave Fuka alone here. What if another fake shows up like before? Oh, right. Uh, hmm. If we leave her here alone and another fake person shows up, her life would be in danger for sure. Still, we can't make her walk around with us when she's so exhausted. Alrighty, I'm volunteering to stay behind. You will? Leave it to me. I can use a persona, and I'm the best at escorting ladies. Well, if you're that confident, maybe we should leave this to him. I'm counting on you, Sir Teddy. Be her knight. Junpei, t bleh, Junpei pats Teddy on the back. Teddy smiles proudly and gives us a thumbs up. These two are starting to act like they've been partners for years. Teddy, are Yukun and the others here too? Huh. From what Junpei told us, Risei-chan and Yuki-chan left Juness to look for Kanji and Nao-chan. But if they notice what's happened to the school, I'm sure they'll end up here. I see. If Risei-chan's with them, then there's no need to worry. Yukari-chan, Junpei-kun, please go on ahead and save the others. I'll remain here with Teddy. I'll contact you all with my persona once I've recovered a little. Please, just give me a little time. I raise an, uh, I raise an eyebrow, but Fuka smiles and tell us, tells us that she'll be okay. I read that Teddy fought through the entire case in Inaba too, so I guess they'll be alright. We leave Fuka in Teddy's care and leave the gym, finally making our way to the school building. 